What's going on everyone? It's the Niskel! Welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe! This bonus will be looking over everything I didn't get to talk about during the LP, as well as everything you unlock after beating the game. First off, I want to look at small miscellaneous topics that were overlooked and some I learned about during the LP. Just like in previous Pikmin games, having equal amounts of every Pikmin in a full party will have them sing a special song. They sing their own rendition of the title theme in this one. During boss battles, when the boss is open for attack, the music changes to be more dramatic and triumphant. This happens in quite a few Nintendo games, but I really got to hear it while I was fighting the sand belching mirror slug. I mentioned that I had footage of getting a game over, but I never showed it. Here is what happens when you run out of food. What makes this even more depressing is that your captains complain about their hunger multiple times during the day. This game really doesn't want you to get a game over. <laughs> Here is what happens when your captains take too much damage. You get the cutscene the first time, then every time after that, they just become unusable. When you lose all three, the day ends and any Pikmin on the field are lost. I wasn't exactly sure what happened to Brittany if she is stranded overnight in the distant tundra. Turns out she just finds a safe place to sleep for the night. As you find different wildlife, they get updated in the Piclopedia with special notes from each captain. In Pikmin 3 Deluxe, they added notes for Olimar and Louis as well. The notes vary between scientific and funny, and in the case of Louis, how to cook them. I've recorded what each of them say about the bigger boss monsters just in case anyone would like to read them. But if you aren't interested in the opinions of an engineer, a botanist, a captain, a foodie, and a scientist, you can skip to this time code. Mm -hmm. They have a lot to say.
There isn't too much on the front of unused content for Pikmin 3 Deluxe, mainly some old files that seem to be carryovers from the original Pikmin 3, and some unused maps. That's actually what you're seeing in the background right now. Looking at cut content from the original Pikmin 3 has a few more interesting finds. The Boldman from Pikmin 2, almost ripped exactly from the files, seem to have been considered for Pikmin 3, but were scrapped early in development. There was also an unused slug enemy, there was a crystal wally wog at one point, there was a beady long legs with a foot for a head. All of this stuff I found on the website The Cutting Room Floor, and I'll have links to both games pages in the description if you want to see more unused content. Again, there isn't much. It's still interesting to look at though. When you beat the game, you unlock a hard mode difficulty. This difficulty basically takes you back to how the original Pikmin 3 felt to play. Days are now 13 minutes instead of 18, and your captains have less health. Or the same amount they had in the original game. Some new differences are most enemies have twice as much health. Your Pikmin drown faster than normal. There are also fewer nectar eggs, so just be on your toes when fighting bosses, and you should be able to get through this one no problem. I finished hard mode with about the same amount of days as the LP, but with more casualties and a lot less juice. That's what I get for rushing, but then again, those missing five minutes make a huge difference. Once you beat hard mode, you unlock ultra spicy mode. But there is an alternate way of unlocking this difficulty. If you beat the demo of Pikmin 3 Deluxe, you get ultra spicy by default. I beat the demo on hard just to be sure I got this notification. But, just note, you have to have a fresh file, because when I went back to my main profile to skip straight to Ultra Spicy, it didn't work. So be sure to beat the demo before you start Pikmin 3 Deluxe if you want to skip straight to the hardest difficulty. Ultra Spicy keeps the 13 minute time limit, and your captains have their health from hard mode. But now, enemies have even higher health, there are barely any nectar eggs, your Pikmin drown way faster, especially when under Ultra Spicy Spray. Your Pikmin limit is now 60 instead of 100. And probably the most challenging of all, all of your fruit juice is halved. I managed to be Ultra Spicy with barely any juice and a lot of dead Pikmin. But I managed to do it. This mode is a great challenge if you thought the default was too easy. Pikmin 3 Deluxe added an achievement system, which you can check your progress at any time in the medal menu. You can also split it into different categories, and you get different ranks depending on completion. Some of the harder medals are beating the alternate difficulties, and others have to do with the side modes. I'd like to note two specific medals. Legendary Archaeologist is for taking photos of all 15 hidden murals. I showed where they all were during the LP, but the photos have to be centered, or else they don't count. I went back to my LP file and retook every photo until it popped, so no harm done. If you have enough juice, this is an easy fix. The other metal is Hokotation Hound. I missed the file in the Formidable Oak! It was right near the beginning. Go for a dig and there's the final file. I read that sometimes this metal doesn't pop after getting all the files, so if this happens to you, check your progress in the metal menu and that should get it to pop. Another minor note is with the co-op medals. Make sure you save and quit after getting the medal, because sometimes you can unget a medal if you quit too early. The rest of the medals are in mission mode and bingo battle, so let's tackle those next. Pikmin 3 brought back challenge mode in the form of mission mode. Same rules apply, collect all items in a set amount of time and shoot for a high score. But now there are defeating enemy missions and boss battles. Once you beat the first five stages in a category, the next five unlock. In the original, you had to beat the normal stage to unlock the remix stage, and then beat that for a special stage. And then the rest were paid DLC. Thankfully, Pikmin 3 Deluxe has every stage, you just need to beat rows of stages to unlock the next row. The key to this mode is collecting everything. You get the best rank automatically when you collect every item, beat every enemy, or beat a boss really fast. If you're having some trouble with the stage layout, Pikmin 3 Deluxe added After Hours, which lets you finish the stage, 
but you forfeit your score. Once you play these stages over and over, you'll get the accompanying medals for this mode in no time. Because I had so much fun playing this mode, I actually recorded every stage and got all platinum ranks. It's not a flex, I just love playing this mode. They'll be posted once a day, without commentary, until I run out. So enjoy a literal month of mission mode. Again, these are just for example purposes. If you're having issues, hopefully these help. Bingo Battle is a new take on Pikmin 2's 1v1 multiplayer. You play against an opponent and try to collect items to make a bingo faster than them. There are items to trip up your opponent or to give you some bonuses. Collect the items for a bingo and you win. There is also a capture the flag variant where you capture your opponent's macaroon to win. After you play a stage, you unlock another. So sit down with a friend and unlock all 12 stages and earn you some medals. And believe it or not, that's every medal. I don't know why it took me forever to 100% this game, but I'm glad I did it. I know there wasn't much, but that's all I wanted to cover in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. There weren't too many loose ends. Thank you all for watching the series, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing Pikmin back on the channel. You won't have to wait that long for Pikmin 4. Enjoy the mission mode videos as they're posted, and I hope you look forward to what's coming in the future. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you guys next time.